You're listening to Blue Radio. Bringing the vibe. Na leo hii tuko na mgeni ndani ya studio ambaye atakuwa anatujuza mengi kuhusiana na lifestyle mpya ambayo iko ndani ya Mombasa. Na of late tumeona very many activities ambazo zinafanyika mjini Mombasa. Mm-hmm. Tumekuwa na the Mombasa Walk Movement. Guys are walking imechukua mkondo wake. Na hivi saa hizi pia naona watu wana bike. Mm. Watu wanaendesha baiskeli. Mm-hmm. Ishara kamili kwamba Mombasa or the whole region coastal region ni kwamba uh, wana hawataki magonjwa hizi za za za, za. tuseme magonjwa makumaku diabetes pressure hizo zote so wanajaribu kutia keep fit kuweka mili uh, katika hali ya mazoezi mazoezi hapa kule either utembee uendeshe baiskeli ama uruke kamba aina mbalimbali za kuhakikisha mwili wako uko very active na ndani ya studio uh, tuko na mgeni ambaye atakuwa anaenda kujitambulisha eh, hapa ndani ya studio kwamba yeye ni nani katoka wapi where is he from what does he do and where did this journey begin Mm-hmm. Isn't it? Yeah. Karibu sana mgeni. Ah, uh, Santi sana. Yes, please. Oh, uh, my name is Jonathan Utieno. Yes, sir. Um, I'm based in Mombasa. Mm-hmm. I'm the founder of Bike is Best Kenya Enterprise. Mm-hmm. Uh, whereby we advocate for the use of bicycle. Mm-hmm. Uh, we advocate for climate uh, through the use of bicycle as an alternative and sustainable mode of mobility mm-hmm. to enhance local carbon emission, reduce congestion and also to enhance active transportation within urban centers. Like oh. um, uh, in terms of career I'm also a journalist like I said uh, um, and also an environmental enthusiast. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do care about the environment. Mm-hmm. So this initiative all, we actually came through that my passion to the environment. Wow. Yeah, so that I, I looked around and say it, it instead of doing stories about climate change environment I need to I need to act. I need okay. to come up with a solution right. that help us build a resilient uh, environment. Right. So that is how this initiative started mm-hmm. and we started last year mm-hmm. uh October. Mm-hmm. And right now I can say we are, we are, we are doing good, we are mm-hmm. far mm-hmm. and it is Indeed God is great. Beautiful. Yeah. Why bike is best? Okay, like I said. Uh you know uh initially I've been seeing uh, a lot of initiatives going on, people coming with different uh, uh ideas on how to 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 build a resilient environment, but I've never seen uh anyone thinking towards something In the in, in the past we, we, we call it normal. Okay. You see, you know people will ask you, "E by scale, how 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 like how?" Unataka kudurisha kwa enzi za za zamani. You see? But I can tell you for free. Bicycle is a tool that can be used to fight climate change. Wow. Okay. And uh, apart from that, mm-hmm. it is also a tool that can help you be fit in terms of health. Mm-hmm. Yes. And also apart from that it's a tool that can also help you uh, right now if you see uchumi ni mbaya yes you are in economic crisis so if 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 if, if you have to choose between using a, a vehicle from where you're working to where you stay and uh, someone is using a, a, a cycling from where he stays to where he's working i'm telling you the one who is cycling will save a lot as compared to one who is nini, uh, who is uh, maybe using public means to, okay. to to move to work All right. yeah so we thought it wise uh, that uh, we come with a sustainable mode of mobility mm-hmm. that is efficient mm-hmm. cost effective okay. and also uh, healthy uh, to, to to the users that will be using this uh, mode of mobility that right. yeah uh uh-huh. so now that uh You've said that you started last year. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So what is the process? Uh how far have you come <coughs> to making sure that the Mombasa residents have um taken this matter with um ease and also considered okay maybe I can start cycling to work. How far have you come ever since you started? Oh okay. Uh the good thing what I can say is that the good thing is that the, the county government is also uh, 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 as welcome the idea. Mm-hmm. They are also proud of it and if you since January the governor has really tried uh, to make sure that we build uh, uh, roads that are are uh, uh, suitable for, for this kind of, of mobilities that we want to bring on board. Mm-hmm. And one of the things one of the reasons uh, that uh, one of the things that we've discovered is that Uh, people are saying they are willing to cycle mm-hmm. but the infrastructure does not allow them to 
to cycle. Mm-hmm. Yes, that means that we don't have the right infrastructure that can accommodate the cyclists who want to cycle. Mm-hmm. So this thing, uh, the government, the governor has really welcome, welcomed it, mm-hmm. and uh, we've seen he has met with the the Blue Bank. Uh, these are these these organization, international organization that gives cities that are willing to build cycling lanes mm-hmm. uh, so that uh, uh, people can cycle safely. Mm-hmm. So this grant, they are giving grant. So uh, uh, the county government applied for this grant, mm-hmm. and we did a, a jointly letter. Mm-hmm. whereby we we, we 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 brought all the cycling uh communities within Mombasa well and we did a joint letter to support the the grant letter that the government the proposal that the government was sending to to the to to, to the blue bank uh cities yeah and uh, that is one thing that we we've, we've done so far another thing also we've seen the governor has also met with the with the Japanese trying to, to 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 bring them on board so that they can help mm-hmm. build a, a modern infrastructure. Mm-hmm. Apart from that, he also met with the Kenha and Kora. Yeah. So that is enough to tell you this initiative is coming strongly. Strongly. Okay. Yes, and we are really doing uh, good. Uh, like I said, you've so far so good. We are at we a good. Well. Yeah, we are doing well. We are at a good stage, okay. and we are really hoping for the best. Hopefully, the governor said by next end of next year, mm. we'll start seeing the changes that we we want. Okay. And if you are keen, actually, right now this is the only county that has a lot of walkways. Mm-hmm. Yes, you see, nearly, nearly this when they uh, they finished building a, a very long walkway. In nearly yeah. now they are building around Vita mm-hmm. and some other places. So that is enough to tell you that we are moving away from the old era okay yes so well i think with those i think uh, we are on the right track on the right track yeah. now uh you've used uh, or you said uh someone who is using a car yeah from home to his work and someone who is using a bicycle one is the other one using a car is going to spend more comparing to the one who is in, who is in a bike which Definitely. is right Definitely. which is right yeah now the question is yeah don't you look a time factor don't look don't you look for the time factor there's someone who is riding this there's someone who is using um, public means or private means all the way to work okay uh, in, in in terms of time factor yeah. what i can say let's say right now if 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 you know when i was coming here i was stuck in a in, in a jam in a okay. traffic jam it okay. happened here uh, up at kibarani okay and uh, uh, i'm cock sure the person that was riding bicycle who came all the way from lights mm-hmm. coming this way mm-hmm. passed me along the way okay you see mm. so that is enough to tell you someone who is riding is more likely to get to a point where he's going faster than the one who is using a vehicle a vehicle okay yes uh and uh, that is because of we've actually right uh, we've, we've been experiencing a lot of congestion in our road mm-hmm. and uh, most of our road users in terms of vehicles they are not disciplined okay so you find that uh, uh we have a lot of congestion at the road at the same time mm-hmm. which should not be there okay so if uh, uh, uh and also we are saying mm-hmm. if you are going for a journey mm-hmm. that is less than five kilometers mm-hmm. why should you use a car okay you see you, if that is that is that is somewhere you, that, that's a place that you can walk or yeah. cycle mm-hmm. yeah so uh, that you are very categorical okay yeah so yeah so we are saying if let's say uh, 10 of us are moving to light mm. and you don't know each other so you that means you'll take a matatu i'll take a matatu all those other 10 will take maybe a tuk-tuk you mm. see that is will be a lot of congestion to and also uh, a lot of carbon emission mm. that will be released to the atmosphere okay. which is not good mm-hmm. yeah no. so if you can walk mm-hmm. to a point let us walk together okay. and then save the environment beautiful yeah now let me give myself as an example. Yeah. I have a bike. I ride. But I ride for leisure. Mostly over the weekends and the evening when I have time. Mm-hmm. I ride. So why or how are you going to convince someone like me who rides for leisure mm-hmm. to use a bike going to it going using it going to work or on other perspectives? The one thing also I mentioned is uh well, when you, I think uh, it's also I think on the side you can also feel the pinch Very of true. the, of the economic crisis mm. and uh, 
I think uh, that is the one way I will start convincing you with. Mm. And it will depend where you maybe you stay. If if the your place of work is quite far, let's say is uh, over five kilometers, mm. that's now you'll say it's okay. You can use uh, uh, any mode that Nothing maybe you feel yes, uh, it's comfortable with you. Mm. But if you're moving <laughs> for a, a distance that is less than five kilometers, okay. Tafadhali, tunakuomba. Tembea. Tembea. Ama kama uko na bicycle please make good use of that bicycle. Okay. Use it go to work mm-hmm. and uh, uh, you'll be one of the ambassadors that will be championing to build a resilient climate. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Now that uh peop- you're asking us to use bikes, okay? Um tukienda pale kwa duka ya bike. Yeah. When we go to the bike shop, bike shop or the supermarket or wherever they are selling a bike. Mm-hmm. Hiyo bei ya bike ni kama tu kununua gari. Have you wh- how for how uh, for how much did you purchase your bike? 35. 35. Yeah. Okay. No one is going to afford 35,000 Kenya shillings to buy a bike. Yeah. Okay. So you're coming here and telling me okay you should use a bike because of the carbon emission because of your health but if you look at it every day I spend around 100 bob mm. to my place in of work and back. Mm. So that feels affordable to me, right? Okay. I, in the long run, yeah, it might not be as um as saving as I think, but mm. it's what I can afford right now. I cannot have a 35 uh that 5 shillings just to that 5000 shillings to take to a person na mwambie nipe bike. Mm-hmm. So, in as much as we're trying to tell people use a bike, how are you going to help us? to purchase bikes that are very affordable or mm. how are you going to help us mm. use bikes because i'm sure i don't have to purchase a bike mm-hmm. it's the same thing as an uber i don't have to have a car to feel to go from one place to mm. another right okay. mm-hmm. so i want to know how are you going to help us use bikes in the long run we're going to help we're going to remain fit okay we're going to help uh, eradicate carbon emission okay. so how are you going to help us um, use that truth uh, okay uh, thank you uh, i will say that uh, right now we are in we are in partnership with uh, an organization in uh, netherlands mm-hmm. if you are key netherlands it's a, it's a cycling city it's a city actually bicycles are many yeah. more than I've even been people there. Yeah. Mm. So if you've been in the Netherlands, you can a- able to tell the, the kind of lifestyle is there. Mm. And I'm telling you it is so so nice mm. as compared to a city full of cars Absolutely. everywhere. Mm. You see? So there's this organization known as uh, uh, Dutch Cycling Embassy. Yeah. Uh, you are in talks with them in in conjunction with the uh, the Netherlands Embassy in Nairobi. Mm. Uh, they, we are still just waiting for some uh, uh, legal uh, formations to be to be uh, taken care of mm-hmm. and then things will start working so they are willing to donate uh, uh, refurbished bicycles mm-hmm. whereby these refurbished bicycles these are the bicycles that will donate to people mm-hmm. uh, will make these bicycles more accessible to the people whereby if you even have 20 shillings you can access a bicycle okay yes, so you can guess how brilliant that will be So if you have that means an example which is an example which you've used. Yes. So if I have the 20 shillings does it mean I'll be hiring the bike Ex- or I'll exactly. be Exactly. You'll, you'll be hiring the bike. Or for a certain yeah, period of for time. For a certain period of time. Okay. Okay. So if you want to move from point A to point B, you'll get the bike and then move to where you want to go. Ah, okay. uh, very conveniently. So as much uh, as much as we are we are trying to convince people mm. to use bicycle. Mm. You know there are so many people who are not willing to afford. Yeah. Uh, or there are those who are willing to to ride but they can't afford mm-hmm. so if you can provide an alternative of bike share mm-hmm. to them mm-hmm. uh, automatically uh, it will work okay. it will work like i said mm-hmm. there are so many people are willing to ride mm-hmm. this is a survey a random survey we've done mm-hmm. there are so many people are willing to ride okay. but the the infrastructure is the problem now for example like right now eh, yeah. we have different kind of uh, Uh, modes of bikes like different kind of cars yeah so <coughs> someone who is using a black mamba because i want to believe people who want to ride uh, have got mountain bikes and good mountain bikes uh someone who has got a black mamba can he join your group 
definitely <laughs> that is right <laughs> okay, okay. bicycle is bicycle mm-hmm. kama gari ni gari gari pia ni gari when you two uh, some vehicles have different features yeah. you see that is the only difference mm. but with ours our bicycles i think the 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 design of our bicycles are very very simple as simple as clear okay yes you don't want something complicated and we have the design if you go to our website you'll get the design get to look at our website mm-hmm. uh, you'll get the designs of mm-hmm. the bicycle that you, you, we want to bring on board and uh, uh, even a child who is even uh, let's say <coughs> Nine mm-hmm. years old mm-hmm. can even cycle those bicycles. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, they are very, very simple and clear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so if you go to www.bikeisbest.co.ke, you'll be able to see the the bikes design that we are trying to bring on board. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. I'm yeah. trying to get you uh, a video I wrote last year. Mm-hmm. Not last year, last year, but one. Mm-hmm. I rode from uh, Nyali to Kilifi, wow. a few friends of mine, wow. mm-hmm. trying to get those pictures so that I show you. But all said and done, as we move on, there are challenges when you're riding on the bicycles and the big you are riding bicycles on the road. The biggest challenge is the traffic, the vehicles. The vehicles. So if an accident maybe it happens, in and in, how do you handle that? Or you now as an organization, how do you help that to be to be curbed or to be stopped? Oh, to okay. Uh, I think the first way mm. to to curb that is, is is by building a safe cycling lanes okay whereby safe and protected whereby no vehicle can overlap even to, yeah to 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 bike lanes mm-hmm. so that is the first way so if you build a safe cycling lane actually we won't be experiencing such kind of, of stories mm-hmm. in, in even in our life okay yeah so another thing just in case such happens uh because we'll bring on board uh, the insurance companies mm-hmm. so that uh, uh, we have such to cover such kind of 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 of, 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 nini, of scenes in mm-hmm. case uh, we we get to experience them mm-hmm. and also right now uh, we're also trying to with in partnership with NTSA we're trying to do uh, a road safety net nini awareness whereby we 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 are, we are trying to encourage uh, and also to create awareness to all those road users from uh, pupils the students uh, the cycling those who are cycling those who are walking uh, those who are driving trying to educate them about the road safety yeah is and also to be vigilant while using the road uh, the road and also also to be very disciplined Okay. Yes, and to respect any other road user that is using the road. Okay. Yes. Now there is uh, this which personally also need to purchase when you have the full gears. But I see nowadays it's very important as a rider yeah. to have the camera on your helmet. Yes. Uh, what happens, for example, an incident of hit and run happens, and you don't have the camera, or one of you doesn't have the camera. In the how can how can such kind of an incident be handled okay i believe but i don't think it is all places but i believe if you look at our roads our roads uh they normally have like uh they have cameras on the road eh? cctv yeah. cctv yeah. Eh? so if if, if in, in case it happens where maybe have a camera then the cctv is uh, uh i think uh, we can get the footage there and see uh, where what, the, uh, uh, what happened mm-hmm. and then from there we can act on that yeah and in case of that sometimes uh, there's something that you cannot control yeah yes you'll have to pick them the way they have come okay and see best way on how we can handle them mm. so uh, uh, and uh, we have no other maybe mm. uh, uh, solution to get yeah. to the real problem mm. i think we'll have to resort to okay. another solution that maybe will be will be helpful at that juncture beautiful yeah this bike is best is uh, an organization isn't it yes now i want to join the bike <laughs> is best organization what do i need registration fees all those stuffs what do i need actually um it's an enterprise okay yes mm-hmm. like uh you know bostaka enterprise yes. yeah it's like a bostaka mm-hmm. whereby uh right now uh if, if you want to join is maybe you can join as a, a volunteer you come as a volunteer and uh, 
there is no any charge okay yes there is no any charge maybe we'll only we'll only ask you to pay for maybe for a t-shirt mm-hmm. uh, which which goes for only 500 bob mm-hmm. yes and uh, uh, we'll be also using you uh, as a uh, our ambassadors okay. ambassadors to to those people who are not cycling mm-hmm. so that you can able to convince more people okay. because we need people. if you have people that convince that can convince people mm-hmm. then it can be done okay yes so actually you are lo- looking for people those who are pas- most most of those who are passionate about cycling okay. climate and environment cycling climate and, and environment. environment so these people have to Make, be passionate about yes, these things and also their health Okay. Very important. It's not like for me as much I'm passionate about climate and environment, I'm also passionate about my health. Actually, okay. I wake up at 4:30 every day. Mm-hmm. The first thing I do is to pray and then the next thing I do is to do a workout. Mm-hmm. Yes, just a small workout. I run up down the stairs, nazunguka uh, nini and then some few press ups and then i'm done mm-hmm. i call it a day okay. for just 25 minutes and then i'm done okay. you see so that is enough to tell you how passion and sometimes even i just ride just ride for the sake of riding just mm-hmm. just to go nowhere just for nothing mm-hmm. see but i i know i know what it means to be healthy okay yes ah nice yeah. nice 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 beautiful how often do you guys ride for example like the walk movement that is in Mombasa I see they 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 walk every Saturday every Saturday you guys how often do you ride so actually, like I said we started last year mm-hmm. and uh, 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 most uh, we've doing uh, most of the work that we've been doing is has been online whereby we've been creating awareness through online our social media our pages platforms mm-hmm. and is when we are planning to do our first ride physical ride okay. uh, on April I mean on May mm-hmm. A 12th okay. whereby we'll have a ride under a theme of ride a bike mm-hmm. save the planet mm-hmm. so if you're willing to join the campaign you're free to join mm-hmm. we'll share uh, all the uh, docu- uh, the requirement information okay so that you can able to join so that will be our first ride actually ah, yes wow. so mm-hmm. from there we are planning to do numerous of them okay numerous of them okay and one of the things that you also realize that We have so many cycling uh, clubs okay. in Mombasa mm. in Kenya yeah. and uh, most of them only ride when with a theme mm. you see mm. once in a while you yeah. see like uh, let's say cancer day the all that day they can ride just to uh, maybe raise funds, we raise funds mm. and also to shed light about mm. uh, cancer yeah. the chronic something diseases so for us we decided to collect all these pieces together mm-hmm to make one thing beautiful yes ah. so if for us health is there mm-hmm. cost effective is there economic mm-hmm. you may cover apple mm-hmm. you may cover climate mm-hmm. you see mm-hmm. so it's it's one thing now uh, that has been uh, has been collected okay. to, yes together so that can make a one thing so this year to we are trying to we want to make this thing as a lifetime thing okay. sequel once in a while like the, the cycling uh, clubs mm-hmm. have been doing so this is the thi- this uh, this thing we want to make it one and for all thing okay a lifetime thing whereby you want people to make bicycle as mm-hmm. their daily friends the way they have made uh, uh other mode of transport okay friends beautiful yes beautiful beautiful mm-hmm. and of course uh this this uh now that you're an organization that is uh, advocating for climate action and also health uh in cycling what are some of the collaborations that you have done especially now that in mombasa there are a lot of organizations like we know the mombasa work movement yeah. um you are uh, you guys are have aligning thoughts Okay. So has there been a collaboration is there a thought about it and and which are other organizations in the county or maybe the country or the world? Oh, okay. Um one of the organizations that uh, we brought on board is uh, uh like I said it's an international organization mm-hmm. uh, known as Dutch Cycling Embassy mm-hmm. uh, and also yesterday uh, we also came to an agreement with the, an organization in Mombasa known as Blue Earth Organization which also advocates for climate change the plant mangroves uh, mm-hmm. in the, uh, the Indian Ocean and also we've also been able to partner with uh, Uh, all the cycling clubs i think there are five mm-hmm. there's this nyali 
a cycling uh, club there's bamburi also there's a, a shanzu fitness uh, cycling club mm-hmm. uh, we have a critical mass mm-hmm. um actually five we yeah, have yeah. Uh, mother nature i think it's mother nature mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. so we are doing good uh, and also we are also trying to bring all the cycling clubs in, even in ukonda in kilifi mm-hmm. so that we can build a, a big uh, nini, a big platform mm-hmm. that will help us to lure more people to join and start cycling with us together mm-hmm. to build a, a, a nini. and also uh uh you're also in talks with the with the nema uh-huh. nema are also willing to support to also you know nema is a is a it's an uh, a government uh, uh, institution institution mm. that uh, really uh, that is uh taking care of our environment yeah so actually i'm meet i'm supposed to meet them on next week mm-hmm. on tuesday okay so that we can see and discuss on how we can work together right. last but not least last two, i think three weeks back i also met with the ps transport in nairobi mm-hmm. and they they also gave us uh the, the assurance that they will support where possible mm-hmm. to make sure that all the things that we are trying to do because the work we are trying to do it needs a lot of collaboration yeah. mm. we cannot do it alone it needs the collaboration from all the private sector and also with the public sector okay. uh-huh. yeah so the 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 public uh, department the public transport department is also willing to be on board and as soon as we come into terms on how we can work together to make sure all these things are created on time it will be known i think by end of this month okay. or early next month Beautiful. yes yes mm-hmm. and one thing also i realize that the, the the government is 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 aware of these things actually mm. if you too you know the government project sometimes they take time okay. to be laid off mm. you see but these things are there actually okay. when when i went to the ps office he showed me everything and even we took a, we did, even took a ride okay. within the city just he was just showing me Jonathan you see all this is a work this this work that uh, NMS started building okay. cycling lanes and also walk lanes they are actually beautiful but uh, it was, he was criticized that they were stealing money to build lawn tents okay. I'm I'm telling you that is the way to go right now okay so they are, they have all the structure yeah. and they are now looking for partners and also waiting and trying to put things in place so okay. that they work and start as soon as possible. All right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so as we wind up, uh, you've said you have been doing a lot of online yes. as an organization. So yeah. tell us what, what are your handles and where if you want to get more information about you. Yes, on on Facebook, uh if you want to get us you go at bike is best mm-hmm. Kenya. Uh on uh, Twitter at bike is best bike underscore is underscore best. Uh, on uh, LinkedIn bike is best Kenya uh, on Instagram bike is best Kenya KE and also uh, on um, we also we have a website mm-hmm. if you if you, I think uh, the website will be easier because if you go to the website you can tap to any any, any, any uh, social media logo that you'll find there uh, we have uh, our link is www.bikeisbest dot co dot ke okay so from there you are able to get all the information that you want and also you're able to link with us to our social media pages okay yes beautiful beautiful msikilizaji uh tuko naye Jonathan kutoka Bike is Best Kenya ambaye ndiye tumekuwa naye kuanzia awamu hiyo ya saa mbili mpaka sasa imekuwa nzuri tena sana kuzungumza naye kuhusiana na masuala ya health uh, and lifestyle climate environment kuwa bike inasaidia Uh, masuala haya yote na inatunza mazingira uh, vizuri tena sana na kwanza tena sana this april I'll be ri- we will be riding as a church uh, pale pavilion mm-hmm. 22 kilometers mm-hmm. uh, april i think we're going to have around two public holidays mm-hmm. so either mid or end of april we'll be riding there 22 kilometers as a wow. church fraternity wow. so both family event father mother kids come come with your bicycles there are their bicycles come you're going to ride so that one is something if you guys can join it to be yes, very beautiful uh, exactly um, i'm actually feel free to invite me so that we can have that uh, together. that together isn't it yes, yeah. it will be very nice and i want to return